Hey, what's going on guys? Rich showing you a video. Uh, I wanted to do this because I've been watching a lot of people doing uh, different videos on YouTube and all around and a lot of different instructions on the internet. And there's no definitive video that tells you how to really clean a carburetor well. Everybody has a lot of strong suits, but nobody really shows you how to do it completely. So the first thing you really want to do is do something called carburetor cleaner from a company called CRC. This is the best company I found, CRC, but you could use any of them. You can see the outside is dirty. Make sure you wear goggles before you do this. Uh, that's really, really important. This stuff will spray everywhere and you do not want to get this into your eyes. Uh, cleans it up really, really well. So again, nice and clean on the outside. That's number one. So number two, you want to loosen this bolt. Usually, typically, this is a half inch bolt there just loosen it up a little bit to be able to do the rest of it by hand so you have to have replacements for everything a tecumseh carburetor rebuild kit this is the tube still in good shape the tube like this with your hands and just give it a yank might have to turn it a little bit let me just take this plastic off but you want to take the bowl off this is your float right here and when it's like this you see how mine's a little bit off there's a little bit more space right here you want to have it nice and set like that pop that through like that. The float will come right off. There's an o-ring in here which needs to be changed out. These old metal ones. Let's see if you could hear this. You could hear something inside of it. So what happens is the, the welds break over the years and they just you know the solder breaks down and you get the gas inside of it. Uh, it's no good. So we're gonna take this and put that to the side because we're not gonna use that anymore. This is the washer for the bowl nut. Let me get rid of that. And we have all that in here, which is the new kit. I also have a new gasket for the carburetor. This is actually a new bowl nut. If it wasn't, what you would wanna do is, this is my cleaning kit. You wanna make sure it'll go through, in and out both sides. You could use tar strings, just inexpensive, you know, they don't have to be special. Just make sure that's clean. Spray a little carb cleaner in there. Spray some in there and then spray it through the holes. You're gonna need something to get this washer in there out. Be really careful when you do this because you don't want to scratch the inside. There we go. See, I gently got it out without scratching the sides with the metal. But I really wanted to polish this up good and show you how to do this properly. So that's never gonna come out that easy. I got lucky today. Push down there, if you could see that in the middle sticking up. Just take the flat part of whatever you got. See, that'll pop right out. The key, again, is cleaning inside here. This is what none of the other videos on YouTube show you. And I have a Dremel. That's all this is, just a Dremel rotary tool. Take the Q-tip, cut it in half. So just stick that in your rotary tool, turn it down, lock it. And what I'm gonna use is Flitz Metal Polish. This stuff is really, really good. Works on anything, but a little bit. We don't really need a lot. This helps because you want to be able to make sure the whole Q-tip is doing its polishing top and bottom. What we're going to do is just polish the inside here. This is where the needle goes in and out. As you can see right away, the Q-tip is turning black. That means the polish is working. I'm going to clean it out now. Right away, it's going to get the new one black, but it's not going to be as bad. This is just the residue. That's what we want. Really, really nice shine. What that is going to do is, when the needle is coming in and out, it's going to glide very gently. There's no snags now. Get a flathead on this side. Some of the carburetors are going to have a piece of plastic, like a rubber grommet. Just pick the rubber grommet out and take this out anyway. This always has to be as tight as it can get. You don't ever want to loosen this and leave it loose. So once that's out, clean that out and spray it out with some carb cleaner. These are my clean parts. This is the part that we took out before. I happen to have something with a cleaner, so with a brush. I'm just gonna go in and out a few times. In there. See, this is coming through. Make sure you clean the inside of this tube. You gotta get the inside of this here. Get this tube here. Get in here. Get this little jet right here. Get 
get down here where we polish to make sure that's nice and clean, make sure there's no more polish. Take the, uh, the top where the butterfly is, open this up, get that nice and clean. And then the other thing a lot of people forget is make sure you get here clean where the pins are. That's where we took that screw out before, so make sure you get that in there. This is very, very clean right now. Nobody takes the time to clean their work area. I'm using paper plates that are disposable, so now I have a nice clean area to work with. And that's key, guys, because you don't want to take the dirt that you just cleaned all the crap out of the carburetor. You don't want to get it back on your fingers and then put it right back in there. Just wipe my hands off, make sure they're nice and clean. What we could do is we could start reassembling this. We'll start with this. This is the easiest part. Put that back in. Just tighten it up as tight as you can get it. Don't strip it. You could actually take a little bit of metal polish and polish this pin. Take a sock. I'm saying this because it's cloth and it's very soft. It flits metal polish. Just put a dab on there. So just take a little bit like this. Just coat it. Just rub it on. That's all you gotta do. Just go in and out and make sure you polish it a little bit. You can see all that junk came off of it. Doesn't look like much, man, but that'll make a big difference because that'll make it slide in and out a lot easier. And it'll be a lot smoother and the float and the uh, everything is just gonna go up and down a lot smoother. So again, get some more on here. Look how much gunk was on there, even though it looked pretty clean. And just spray it with the carb cleaner one more time. We got to get this washer, this little rubber uh, washer. That is where this washer is going inside there. This is a little bit difficult to do. What you could do is, you could actually use the tube, the breather tube, to get it in. A lot of people say use drill bits, this, use that. This is soft plastic. This isn't going to damage this hole that we just polished. We just took all that time working on, so. And it will get all the way down to the bottom. Just turn it, get it right out. As you can see, it's all the way down to the bottom. We are going to take a clip, and then this, where the groove is, it slides in like so. Okay. I'm gonna clean this uh, float up. Pop that in there like so. As you can see, got it hanging in there like that. Just hold it like this, grab the pin, and slowly put the pin in. It doesn't stick open. Okay, so that isn't correct. We're gonna take this spring right here, and just bend this a little bit. Just squeeze it. So now when it comes up to this level here, you can see that the needle goes in when it's flat, and it comes up when it's not. Just push down on this. That's perfect, that's what we want. And when it's there, it's closed, it's not gonna come in. And when it comes up, it's open, all right? So that's what we want. Now this is a rebuilt carburetor. Let's take your rubber outer ring. So that is perfect, man, nice and tight. Got the pin polished. Got the bowl perfectly where we want it. Going up and down. We'll take our bowl right here. Mine's clean, I'm gonna clean it anyway one more time for good measure because I'm not taking this apart again for a while. This flat part here has to line up with where the pin is. We need to take this, we need to put this back in. And take the breather tube and just push that in. This should be in line, should be parallel to this. Okay, so just take that like so, and line it up, and then gently push this over the rubber seal, it should fit nicely, you shouldn't have any seal sticking out, you shouldn't have any gaps, if you do, take it off and do it again until you have it nice and sealed like this, perfect. We take our bowl nut, which is nice and clean, before we cleaned it, take this and put this like so, and put this in here like this, again, half inch uh, socket. Don't go crazy, don't over tighten this. Tighten it till it's hand tight. Just make sure this is nice and uh, clean. Insert it in here like so. Twist it in till it's in. And that is it guys. You are the proud new owner of a rebuilt carburetor. This is a Tecumseh for a six and a half horsepower Tecumseh motor and it goes on a Craftsman lawnmower. The only other thing I could recommend is, like I said, pick up a gasket. I got an original Tecumseh part. You don't really want to go with the cheap aftermarket, but that's all you can find. Anytime you see these bags with a red and black, then you know it's Tecumseh part. Whatever you do, don't forget to put a gasket between this and the intake. And make sure at the end of the season, you absolutely run your tank 
completely dry. When you're gonna put your lawnmower away, take the bowl nut off and just drain all the gas. That will keep this thing looking perfect for the next season. If you do that, this thing will be running for years. You won't have any problems with it. And uh, if you had the leaking problem where the, the fuel would leak into the air filter, that will be solved. Again, if you did everything step by step the way I showed you in this video, you made sure to polish the inside of that one part, pinch where the spring was to make sure the, the when you opened up and closed the bowl, the needle was actually going in and out every time you, you know, lifted the, the float up. As long as you did all that, you should be good to go. If you didn't, take it apart again and try again. You will be an expert in no time. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. I know it's a really long video, but I tried to make this the ultimate carburetor rebuild video. If you can, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and let me know if you got any questions. Thanks again, guys. Take care. I'll leave a link in the description to the parts and the tools I used in case you needed to pick any of that stuff up.